Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to greet all beloved in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is Pastor Nkosi. I'm going to share a scripture with you from the book of First John chapter 1, verses 1. Uh, no, verses, we'll take it from verses 5. And that talks about walking in the light, walking in the light. Um, it says, this is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to, to you. That God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to give. Uh, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. This scripture actually teaches us, sorry, we must, as the children of God, we must know that we are walking in the light with him, the light himself, that is God. So verse 5, it says, this is the message we have proclaimed, uh, that we have heard from him and proclaimed to you that God is light and in him is no darkness. First of all, if we know what the light is, like for instance, and as we are recording this, we have boosted our filming with light. So that means it will show pure pictures, clean uh, 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 clip, and everything, it becomes perfected. You are clear, and you know that you can be able to see everything around you. So therefore, we mean that God is that type of a person that when you are in Him and walk with Him, you will be able to see everything that is around you your um uh, your space so i just want to encourage everybody this evening to say run to god who is our light and then he is our light and you can be able to light for your path and so that you can walk straight to where you're supposed to be remember you're accepting christ you're accepting christ as lord and savior it makes you to be in the light because of christ himself is light because of our god and and jesus are one so then that means Jesus is light. So when you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you become light as well. So besides walking in light, you are light too. So it says you can never continue being in darkness and then proclaim to, see, to say that you are in light and you are not. But you need to accept His Son, Christ Jesus, to be in light and so that you can walk in light. So, and then when you are in light, you'll be concentrating on the things of the light. So then that means you will do everything of light and that God will be, uh, uh, will be peaceful or will, will, um, God will accept the type of life that you are living because of you living a Christ-like and enlightened light uh, type of a living of a lifestyle. So therefore, I'm engaging with you and I'm encouraging you this evening and say, run to the light and that is Jesus Christ himself, the Son of God, whom has died for you on the cross of Calvary, that through you, you uh, through him, you might be saved. And then you are saved if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. There is nothing else that you can do but to run to the light and that is Christ himself. God bless you as you are going to enjoy and meditate on this way. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Bye.